Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on their sexual thoughts and desires about you. And I will share with you everything that comes through and not leave anything out. So please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get into your reading. Meditate here on the three piles and pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, and three. Let's get straight into your reading. Hello, beautiful group one. Welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you a clear insight on their sexual thoughts and desires about you. This is an 18 plus reading, and I will be as a detailed as YouTube will allow. I'm going to share with you everything that comes through and not leave anything out. So please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get into this hot and steamy reading. I can clearly see here that your energy, you are naturally drawn to your card, the fire element. And with the fire element, this does represent the fire zodiac signs, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries that are in the top placements of your person's birth chart. Their sun, moon, or rising sign, the seventh house of relationships, or the planet Venus. And the fire elements could be interchangeable and be shown in your birth chart as well as a confirmation in this reading. But let me do point this out. What I'm picking up from your person is that this person is very spontaneous in the bedroom, if you know what I mean. And they want to do something with you that you have not done before. I feel like this person has expressed this interest to you. And this is something that they're very knowledgeable about. I don't feel like they've done this already, but this is something that they do want to try with you. This fire energy um, indicates that they are fearless when it comes to their sexual nature and that they are passionate as well. This person does take control in that area and they feel like they are a warrior of sorts and that they can handle you pretty well. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What are their sexual thoughts and desires about you? What are their sexual thoughts and desires? You have here the page of coins. So with the page of coins energy, this is earth energy, physical energy. And the earth elements are showing up here. The zodiac signs, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Coming through very strong here. I can see that this person does love your appearance, your um, attractiveness to them. They like the whole part of you, your whole essence, your body is something that they are very intrigued with. And specifically here with the page of coins energy, I do want to point out that this person is very patient. They will stay back, move really slow until they get to connect with you in that romantic way. So they're very calm and patient about what it is that they want to do to you and for you, but they want to embrace your whole physicality. They really like the shape of you. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What are their sexual thoughts and desires about you? And you do have here, ghosted. This person is saying here that I'm sorry I disappeared. 
that I needed to get away and clear my head. So this is a trait, a characteristic that they do have, and they regret that ish as well. They really are feeling grief right now over this connection because they set a place in your mind where you don't fully trust this person because of their actions, because of the way that they have been moving, ghosting you. You reach out, they act like they didn't get your text or your phone call or your message or your DM. And so they're sorry about that. But they're trying to figure out a way to come back with that energy. They're feeling regret right now, but they definitely want to make up for it in the bedroom with you. Let's get more insight. This person has a lot of nerve, to tell you the truth. Let's get more. What are their sexual thoughts and desires? Let's see what we do have here. Whoa. This person dreams about you a lot, almost every night, and about your body. And Spirit gave us that insight earlier in the reading that this person does really, I feel like they have a lust for you, a deep lust for you. I'm picking up actually some Knight of Wands energy. They want to be very free-spirited with you in the bedroom. Let's see what your card says. It says, emotions are natural and, necess and a necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So they feel like you're holding on to, you know, some things that they did, some things that they said to you how they moved and they weren't moving correctly. They feel like in order to really connect with you in that deep, passionate way, that there, there's resentment has to be released between the both of you in order for this to be a free flowing energy. An energy where two people do come together as lovers, that deep partnership connection. So there's something that did go on, so some sort of dishonesty or betrayal. But nevertheless, you don't see this person the same. You don't trust them. But you do still have this desire, a little bit of a desire to connect with them in that way. But they have a whole big <laughs> desire to connect with you sexually. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What is their thoughts and feelings? Their sexual thoughts and feelings about you. Look at that page of swords showing up and you have the page of coins. So you have two page cards. That's a synchronicity, 22. The number 22, the number two is significant in the reading. So two could be in the birthday, birth month, or birth year of this person's or your birth year as well as a confirmation in the reading. But with the page of swords, they want to communicate with you. They're saying here that they would, you know, they would speak to you really, you know, different if they had the chance to connect with you in that intimate way. The communication would be actually less communication and more participation, if you know what I mean. But they really want to get this message out to you that, you know, they didn't mean to spread, you know, a gossip. This is a very chattery person. This person loves to talk and loves to gossip. They watch your social media, wondering who you're dating. Are you dealing with someone right now? Are you in a relationship? They're very gossipy. And they feel like you're going to find out a truth. It's something you really want to know about this person. They're very afraid of the truth coming out. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. Their sexual thoughts and desires about you. What are their sexual thoughts and desires? Look at Mercury. The planet Mercury is the planet of communication. And Spirit just gave us that insight here with the Page of Swords. The Swords is about communication and how they want to communicate with you. This person is nosy AF. I'm serious. They have like these prying eyes stalking your social media with fake accounts. You know, no pictures. So if you're seeing someone in your stories or on your account, fake pictures sending you 
uh, friend request without pictures, it's them. It's them. Thank you, Spirit. So with the communication, yeah, they would love to communicate quite differently with you in the bedroom and not say too much at all. Whereas um, they do want to correspond with you in the bedroom. Um, they, You feel like they talk too much anyway. You really do. You feel like this person talks extremely too dang on much. They're very aware of your self-expression and the way that you do communicate. They love the way that you do communicate. You are very alluring to this person, extremely attractive to them. The planet Mercury showing up here is in significance here with the sign of Gemini and Virgo. So those two signs, Gemini and Virgo, are significant here in the top placements of the birth chart. You got that Gemini, very communicative, social energy. And you have a Virgo, that perfectionist energy, earth, down to earth. Lots of earth energy showing up here, fire. You got air showing up. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get more insight. There's sexual thoughts and desires about you. What you have here? Look at that. The Nine of Wands. I love the Nine of Wands showing up as your final card here in your drawing. Because with the Nine of Wands showing up, this is that fire element. Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. Passionate, enthusiastic. This person just really feels like... They will be able to show you something that you have not seen before. And you're like, duh, I doubt it. But this is what they feel. They are really full of confidence right now. Passionate to connect with you. And the Nine of Wands energy, they feel like you're not reciprocating their energy. You're not reciprocating their you know, their calls, their texts. They feel like you have your boundaries set in place and you're keeping your boundaries up as seen here with the Nine of Wands energy. They don't know how they will ever cross those boundaries and get close to you the way that they want to. But they really wish want it is saying something like, you know, I will show you a thing or two if I have the opportunity. And it will not be about talking. It will definitely be about action. So group one, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful group two. Welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on their sexual thoughts and desires about you. I will share with you everything that comes through this reading and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get straight into your reading. So I can clearly see here that your energy, you're naturally drawn to the card representing the crop circles. Now what I'm picking up from your person's energy, this is about messages and curiosity and signs. So here telling you what they really want to take place <laughs> and with that encounter of sensuality between you and them is that they want you to take control of the situation to, um, in the bedroom. I feel like this person has been giving you some sort of signs. I feel like you guys have been communicating with messages and they really want to know and see what it's like if you take charge of the romantic bedroom quest. They definitely want to leave it all up to you. All of the planning, the preparation, and the initiation. Let's get more insight. What do they want to do? Thank you, Spirit. Their sexual thoughts and desires about you. Let's find out. I'm picking up here this person... You know, they, they act kind of shy, but they're not. Let's get more insight. 
Look at that. Page of Wands. Not shy to say the least, but wants you to take control because this person gets really excited thinking about how you can control them and handle them in the bedroom. The Page of Wands energy is a clear message here that, you know what? They're going to be quite active, although you may be driving. They're going to be an active participant and they want to do something new, something totally different that they have not ever experienced before. And they want to show you something that you've not, you both have not experienced before. They want to get very creative and cook up something delicious, something yummy, something that will make you say, wow, I have never, ever experienced that. So that's their plan. Let's get more insight. They want you to think that you're driving, but in essence, they will be in full control. So don't get fooled by this person. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. So what's their sexual thoughts and desires? What's their sexual thoughts and desires? You have here something to say. There's something I really want to share with you. I'm waiting right now. The right time is to tell you. I'm waiting for the right time to tell you is what they are saying. So this person is waiting for the right time to approach you. They don't want to rush you. They don't want you to think that they are in such a hurry to connect romantically. They want you to think that they do have patience. I feel like they kind of have patience. I do feel like they are able to lay in a cut and lay back, kind of like a lion stalking its prey. And then they will pounce, especially if you give them the signal, if you give them the sign that it's okay to come on and connect, then they are there in a heartbeat. But they're really trying their best to not seem like they are thirsty. But they are very thirsty, and they want to drink a sip of your nectar. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. So their sexual thoughts and desires about you? What are their sexual thoughts and desires about you? Romance. Cupid arrow strikes. See? This person is romantic. They act like they're not romantic because they try to play all hard, try to play aloof, distant, as if they're not into romance. They don't like romance novels or movies, but that's a lie. They love romance. This person is actually hiding who they truly are simply because they're afraid of what society says, afraid of what role they feel that they should be playing in society. So they hide that essence, the way that they feel about romantic love, partnerships, and things like that. They want you to fall in love with them. They want you to be passionate for them. But they're waiting for the right time to tell you with the something to say energy here. There's something I really want to share with you. I'm waiting for the right time to tell you. And that's that energy. That's that sexual, sensual energy. They don't want you to feel that you're rushed into this situation as well. So let's get more insight. Let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. Let's get it. There's sexual thoughts about you. What are they? Look at this, the Page of Swords. Communication, communication, communication. I love the Page of Swords showing up naturally under the crop circles because the crop circle is about messages. It is about communication. Um, this energy does rule over the planet of Mercury. Mercury rules over the sign of Gemini and Virgo. So with the Page of Swords energies, you see how he looks real sneaky, like he's smiling, but you know there's something behind that smile that is quite sinister, but yet fun. Yeah, he's trying to hide the fact that he can't wait to connect with you romantically. And the Page of Swords energy, this person is very curious about the sexual connection that you two could have. That's seen in this Page of Swords energy. But be very conscious of this person because this person does like to gossip. 
I don't feel like they would gossip about your sexual encounter to someone that you know, but they will gossip about it. They will gossip about it. This person does have prying eyes. Always watching your social media to see what you're doing next, who you may be out with. Even if you're in, you have like friendships, romantic friendships or partnerships, relationships, this person is very nosy in that way. A gossiper, love to talk, but act like they don't. Very shysty character. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. Their sexual thoughts and feelings about you. What are they? Waxing Gibeous Moon. Nurturing. Patience. Refinement. And Spirit just gave us that insight earlier. We got that. That they, they're patient. They're laying in a cut. They're like that lion. That's waiting to pray. And you're their prey. They're, got, they're very cool. Leo's popping up quite a bit in this reading. With the Page of Wands, you got Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. And then the Page of Swords here, you have Gemini. You have Aquarius here. And you also have Libra, the planet Venus, the planet of love and beauty. This person finds you very aesthetically attractive, very pleasing to look at. Your eye candy to this person. And they just really want to eat you up. They see you as a very nurturing person as well. I feel like this person would love to um, give you massages at this encounter. This romantic connection, this person would love to massage you. Massage your entire body. Finish up the night or the day with a foot massage. And just make you feel very loved. Very you know, refined, if I should say. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get more insight. What is their sexual feelings about you? What would they do? Their sexual thoughts. Page of Swords. Twice. Two different decks. This is a very strong confirmation. And then you have three page cards. So you have two page of swords. You have a page of swords here and a page of swords here. And a page of wands. So let me point out this. They want to do something freaky with you. Something very new. They're very creative. They're very creative. And they want you to be open to the idea of their creativity. The Page of Swords energy is a clear indication that they do love to gossip. So trust your intuition with this person. If you were to move forward in this encounter, trust your intuition. They gossip like a divine feminine energy. They gossip. They love to talk. I don't think that they would gossip with someone that knows you personally, but they do like to talk. So Page of Swords is significant here. There are three page cards here. This is, and then so this is a synchronicity, two, 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 because you are the number two. So there's another message here associated with you from your spirit guides. You may have been seeing the synchronistic number two, two, two. So here at the end of this reading, go and look up the number two, two, two. There is an additional message here for you as it does relate to this person on your mind. That message is from your spirit guides. Your reading here is extremely accurate and confirmative with every card laid out. So group two, this does conclude your reading. Oh, I do want to point out that the number two is significant. So it could be in the birthday, birth month, or birth year of your chart or your this person's chart. The number two. This does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you or inspire you and if it does please leave a comment below because i do love reading your comments they definitely warm my heart and they make my day i am sending you lots of love and good energy hello beautiful group three welcome to your reading i'm clarity bay i'm a psychic tarot intuitive and i'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you and in your reading, this is an 18 plus hot and steamy reading. I'm going to share with you insight on their sexual thoughts and desires about you. I will share with you everything that comes through and not leave anything out.
please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get straight into your reading. So I can clearly see here your energy is naturally drawn to the air element. Now the air element, of course, does rule over the air zodiac signs. Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini, which are significant in the top placements of this person's birth chart or your birth chart as a confirmation in the reading. And the air element could be seen in the sun, moon, or rising sign, the seventh house of relationships or the planet Venus. Let me do point out that this person, this person is detached from any inhibitions, meaning that they do not have any shame in their game and they will do with you whatever you would allow them to do. They will like to take over or they would like you to take over. To them, it is all about having fun, living in the moment and communicating with each other in the most sensual and seductive way possible. Let's get more insight. What are their sexual thoughts and desires about you? The Knight of Swords. I love the Knight of Swords coming out immediately in the reading because the Swords energy is the air energy. So that's a very strong confirmation showing up immediately here. The Swords energy re ruling over the air zodiac signs. Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. The Knight of Swords energy is a clear indication that this person has a lustful nature for you. This person wants you to be very free spirit and just let go and just embrace the idea of that sensual sexual experience at the highest level possible. This person doesn't care about what nobody thinks, as long as you guys are with each other and behind closed doors, that's all that matters. If they want to give you the time of your life and they want to do something with you that you will never forget. They will communicate their love with you in a way that has very little to do with talking and more to do with action. Let's get more insight. What are their sexual thoughts and desires about you? Emotional intimacy. So this person says here, I'm afraid to truly open up to you. Being raw and authentic with my emotions is something I'm still working on. So although they fantasize in their head day and night about what they would do to you, how they would do that with you, how they would control the situation and control the narrative, control the room, the space, your energy, control your body. They have a challenge dealing with their emotional, their intimacy. They have a problem with being vulnerable, being free. And that's something they are still working on. That's something that does frighten them a lot. They don't know how to really be themselves fully. They want to open up. They want to really be raw and authentic with you in this way. Let's get more insight. Their sexual thoughts and desires about you. You have here the two of wands. So with the two of wands, that's energetic connection. The two of you together, fire, passion, connecting deeply. And the two of wands energy is really about waiting for the right time to approach you. Waiting for results. Waiting for the connection to be one that is mutual. Where you want them as much as they want you. They are hoping that it can get to that point that you will make a choice to travel towards them emotionally, physically, and connect this two of wands energy. Let's get more insight. What are their sensual, sexual thoughts and desires about you? What are they? 
transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. This is what they want. I love this because when you have the deepening, that emotional connection, that togetherness, where two people join and they become one. This is amazing correlation with emotional intimacy here that this person has a problem with that. They have blocked themselves off from really feeling connection. It's because of the fear of being rejected or being abandoned. But this is something that that is their mo their highest dream or goal in life is to connect with you in that way. To really make you feel like they not only want you in a sensual, sexual way, but they truly care about you and they care about the relationship. They feel like love does conquer all, but they really have, they have to work on being fully transparent. Let's get more insight. What are their sexual thoughts and desires about you? The star with the star card. Whoa, this is really like they are hoping, they are praying that a miracle would take place because it's going to take a miracle to bring this connection together. And that's what they're hoping. The star card is about renewing this relationship connection. It's really about... um. They really wish that faith will bring you two together. This is how they see you. They want to see you in a spotlight, in like a candlelight, in a, in a romantic setting with like lingerie, a romantic setting. This is the type of person that does hide their romantic side. And I don't know why, because they know romance is something you love, but they hide that part of themselves. And if they could, if they could do this, this is what they would do. Embrace you in a romantic setting with candle lights, you know, the dinner of your choice, the place of your choice, an ocean front setting. But they have this problem with emotionally connecting. And that's where it all begins. That's where it is. That's where this sexual energy lies in the emotions. So although they are extremely sexually attracted to you, as seen here with the Knight of Swords energy, they do have that lust build up. But the romance is what they are lacking. But it's something you desire and it's something you must have. And they just really wish that they had that. Let's get more insight. Their sexual thoughts and desires about you. What are sexual thoughts and desires? You have the waning crescent moon, surrender, restoration, and trust. I love the waning crescent moon showing up because Spirit just gave us this insight with the star. The star is about renewal and hope. Boy, they are hoping and wishing on a star that they could connect with you, but it is a long shot. They're hoping that you do surrender, give them a chance. Restore their relationship connection. They want you to trust them. Give them a chance. But you're like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. Trust your intuition with this connection. You know what the right thing is to do. But as far as they're concerned... If they did have their ish together emotionally, they would be your Prince Charming. They would be your Knight of Cups. They would have that romance factor down, the champagne, the dinner, the, the, the nice lit room and scenery. 
traveling together with you, just really enjoying your time together along with that beautiful sensual sexual connection. Well, group three, this does conclude your reading and I hope this reading does resonate with you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy.